the past 20 years, there have been three new emerging coronaviruses. First in 2002, 2003 with the original SARS, then in 2012 with MERS, and now with the new novel coronavirus that causes COVID-19. Right now, there are no approved antiviral drugs for any human coronavirus. So basically, we have no weapons in our arsenal. So the work that we've been doing at UNC, we started working on remdesivir about five or six years ago. Over the years, we've shown that remdesivir works against every coronavirus we've tested so far, including the virus that causes COVID-19. Just like you have broad spectrum antibiotic, they like are effective against lots of different bacteria. So similarly, there are broad spectrum antivirals. Through the development of broad spectrum drugs and vaccines, that will make our response to a future emerging coronavirus much, much faster than what we're dealing with today. In animal models of both SARS and MERS coronavirus disease, we've shown that the drug can prevent infection, or if you give the drug during an ongoing SARS or MERS infection, you can improve lung function and diminish the disease that those viruses cause. And right now, there are several clinical trials for remdesivir to treat COVID-19. We should know in the spring if this drug is going to be useful. If remdesivir is successful in clinical trial, it could be deployed to perhaps treat severe COVID-19 patients in the hospital.